Hi, welcome to Clark Auctions October 15th Fine Art Preview. I'm Peter Schweller and I'm going to be sharing with you some of the highlights of our auction. We're first going to start with a Joan Miro print and it's entitled Interior at Night, done in 1969. The interesting thing about this lithograph, it's actually done on a textured wallpaper comes from a Larchmont collection and we have an estimate of 10 to 15,000. Next above that we have a Paul Augustine as a period probably done in the 50s and it's of a small boy with a hat and that is estimated at two to three thousand um, and the interesting thing about the artist he also has a museum dedicated in Japan to him. We next move to two Chagalls. The first of the Chagalls is Summer's Night, done in 73, and this has an estimate of 15 to 2500. The Chagall above is Little Peasants 2, done in 68. It's number 19 of 15, with an estimate of 6 to 9000. Next, we move on to this wonderful interior of a woman at a mirror by Jacques Shapiro. Um, it's a fabulous array of colors in the skirt of the woman and this is eight to twelve thousand. Next we move on above to a Stefan Danos. Uh, this is the bus stop done in 1949. Uh, he was an illustrator and did several covers of the Saturday Evening Post and this is estimated 1,000 to 1,500. Below that we have a George Boleyn born in Russia and he studied in Paris and worked in New York and this has an interesting frame by Newcomb and Mackland comes from a large mock collection and it's estimated a thousand to fifteen we now move up to an Israeli artist Jovan Simon he was German born but then emigrated to Israel and uh, worked in Paris as well as New York and did murals uh, this estimate on this work is two to three thousand Below that we have a Mexican fighting cock by the um, American abstract artist uh, Vasil Vitakil and this was done in 1963. He was a prominent teacher at the Students League and taught everyone from Rauschenberg, Twomby and de Kooning and this is estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. We now move over to a circle of George Gower, an old master from the period of Elizabeth I. And this is an interesting picture for the allegorical uh, elements around the head of the figure. And it's interesting, some of these translate as no one is happy on every side is one of the inscriptions. Uh, and this has an estimate of three to five thousand. We now move across the way to this fabulous Frank Stella. This was done in 1971. It's signed and dated. It's number 56 of 58. And this has an estimate of 10 to 15,000. Now, this picture up here is by Charles Neal, a British artist, and it's one of two, and you get two for one, at one to 1.5 estimate. Um, next, we move on to a pair of New York scenes by Johan Berthelsen. Uh, we have four in the lot, uh, four actually in the sale, but two here. And then we now move down to uh, woman below by Gustave Jean Jacquet and this is a lovely portrait of a woman um, it's estimated at three to five thousand now we're moving above where we've got an Andre Guisson which is an American impressionist uh, and he moved to France uh, originally he had a Gustafsson was his name uh, but changed it to Gisson, and this is estimated 1,500. This fabulous work now that we're looking at is by Myron Barlow, and this picture is called A Cup of Coffee, and was exhibited at the Paris Salons in 1907. And he, the artist, looked at Vermeer and was very much interested in the stillness of a moment of an action, and this is estimated at three to 5,000. We now have another pair above of Berthelsen's of New York scenes. Again, they're estimated at two to 3,000 for the pair. Now, one of the highlights of the sale is we have this interesting picture here by Henry Corner. 
It's a study for his 1948 uh, painting called The Showboat. And it really depicts some fascinating figures from uh, this series done in 48. He was known as a magical uh, realist, uh, is, is what he did in the 1940s. And finally, we have the second of the two Neil paintings. And the estimate for those again is $1,000 to $1,500. Now we're in the main room and we're gonna start with this painting here by David Rowe, a contemporary artist. Looks like it looks like a uh, bicycle in there. And now as we move along, we've got more abstract. We've got uh, a picture by Balcom Green of a nude, Chagall to the right of that, uh, Belinda Kaldar, a Hungarian artist, which is an interesting piece, and that's estimated 1,500. Above that as well is another dolly in the sale. Below, manner of uh, Frank Stella. And we have at the top up here is an interesting picture by William F. Korndorf, who's a Florida uh, artist. So you've got the Everglades, it looks like there. And then coming down, we've got a local artist, Charles Fazzino in the middle there. And then below that is a poster by Earl Newman for the Students Nonviolent Committee. Uh, Mexican artist here. We've got uh, Nierman, a tiled um, city scene by Harris G. Strong. Going above, we've got a dolly. And then over here, next, we have a Picasso print, which is actually signed. Another Charles Fazzino, a local artist. We move along to the world of Arte and his women. Now we have a really interesting work by Raphael Sawyer. Uh, this picture was done in the 1950s of this wonderful woman in profile. It has an estimate of 1,000 to 1,500. And then moving along, we've got another cityscape by Lancelot Ney, an interesting female artist, Ethlyn Kobe Cosby Stewart, and that was done in 1933. She was a textile artist, and so this is interesting to see in oil. Below that is a Michael Patterson, The Day at the Beach. Um, we're moving along to a pair of 19th or 18th century uh, Italian pictures with some cows uh, and uh, figures at a river. Here we have a lovely marine by the Scottish artist, James McAllister, uh, sailing ship. And below that is a wonderful Boston area artist. It's a female artist named Marion Parkhurst Sloan. Uh, and this looks like to be an area in New England. We then move on to a 19th century painting above. Uh, let's focus on this middle one which this is an unknown artist, but it is signed and it looks to be from the Parisian school. And below that is a manor of Guardi picture. See a view of Venice. Going in the corner here, we're moving over to Emmanuel G. Romano. And it's a couple of still lifes. These were done in the 1960s. And another fascinating picture that we have next to those is a nude a continental nude, possibly by a Russian artist. It is signed, so a bit of a mystery, but a fascinating looking work. And this work is by Jane Wilson, this landscape, and she's an Iowa artist. And she moved to New York in 1949 when this was made. The next picture is by Pinktus Kremage, uh, and he's an undervalued artist, and he was a contemporary of Soutine and Chagall. Next below, we have uh, a female artist, which we have several by Neil Choate Jones. She's originally from Georgia, and that's what she's known for, her scenes in Georgia. Above that is a member of the Wyatt family, Harriet Wyeth Hurd. And this picture was actually exhibited in 1969 at the Philadelphia Art Museum. 
Next, we move on to a ballerina by Harry Everett Townsend. And this was exhibited at the World's Fair in 1939. Now we have a really interesting painter by the manner of Michelle Felice Korn. This picture depicts uh, the landing at Plymouth uh, in 1620. Next, we have a nude by the artist Gladys B. Davis. And this was also with the Midtown Gallery. And it's estimated at 1,000 to 1,500. Our final work is by James Montgomery Flagg, and this is a portrait of Oscar of the Waldorf. He was the famous maitre d' of Delmonico's Hotel and a cookbook author and the inventor of the Waldorf salad. So this now concludes our portion of the fine art sale, and we look forward to seeing you at the auction.